The first step to installing your lily pad diving board is to place the frame over the mounting hole. You will then take a stainless steel eye bolt and secure the frame to the base of the boat. Once your base is secure, you are ready to install the ladder. Simply slide the ladder into the two holes in the frame. Next, you'll secure the ladder by inserting the pins on each side of the frame. You will now secure the back side of the ladder to the base of the boat. Align your ladder with the mounting holes and secure it to the floor of the boat with the eye bolts. With all of your eye bolts now fastened hand tight, you can now use a pin to ensure they are snug. You are now ready to raise your diving platform. Release your shock from the storage strap. Insert the button lock pin into your desired mounting hole. Raise the diving platform by pressing down on the back side. Raise the stabilizer rail to your desired location and secure it by pushing the pin through the mounting hole. Your lily pad diving board is now completely assembled and ready for use. While your boat is in motion or the lily pad diving board is not in use, the diving platform should be lowered. Okay, now I want to show you how easy it is to take this thing down. All you got to do is drop the board, and this will lay down on the outside of your boat, usually at the side gate, or if you've got a platform in the rear of the boat, it would lay down and just rest against the shock. You can stow the shock here with a simple strap system, put the pin in so it doesn't move around. That keeps it in one place no matter what your board's doing. Align the mounting the hole on the, the diving platform with the mounting hole on the shock rod. You can take this off completely if you want Push to. Push the button lock it. pin through the mounting hole to secure your diving platform. Take out your eye bolt. The ladder slides right off. Now you've got one more eye bolt and you can take the frame right off the boat completely too. Or if you want to run with it like this, you can leave it right over the side of the boat. Now when you go to stow this, it'll actually package up quite small. And that's all the space that you need to put your board in.